hello friend welcome back in this tutorial i am going to show you guys what is the major difference between test case studio and selenium ide because both are the recorder plugin and pretty much everywhere it is being asked to me that what are the difference between these two recorder plugin because generally whenever we talk about the recorder plugin it comes in our mind that you can record steps and then play them or uh, like again rerun them but here both the tools are unique on their own way both have their own unique features and pretty much absolutely different from each other just that because they record things so we are calling them the recorder plugin but very unique very in innovative both the tools are so here i have uh, created a sheet with the like major points major difference between both both of them so let's discuss about them the very first is uh, test case studio what it does write the user action in plain english sentence also now it can record in any language any uh, speaking language or writing language which generally we use as a human being not the programming language while selenium id it used to record the script for the user action which you can rerun while test case studio recorded steps cannot be re-executed or you cannot run them again right so let me show you with the example here for an example we are on google.com and both are the browser plugins so you can install on your browser from the chrome store or any browser store download link you can find it on uh, for test case studio on selectors of website selenium id you can find it on selenium website okay so uh, first let's see uh, for the test case studio i will just click on the logo both has the same way to open just click on the logo after installing and here you see that if we will perform any action let's say we search for uh, selectors sub here and click enter let us scroll and then if i open this uh, link here for an, for an example so these steps you see that pretty much has been recorded in plain english sentence like what we did we open website then we click on search then we enter selector sub into the search box then we press enter then we click at selector sub so these are the kind of like sentences which one can uh, like used to reproduce the bug can be used as a documentation perspective like that but they cannot be used as a automation script or which you can run again right so this is test case studio okay and then there are other features as well that we will discuss now let us see for the same thing similar thing like suppose uh, we'll go to google.com again <laughs> and now we will see what selenium ide does so here you open selenium ide and uh, you can uh, here it used to open like this and it is showing us a record a new test in a new project open an existing project or uh, like these steps are here so for an example we consider this record a new project we will give the name anything like let's say demo and here you can enter the url and then start recording so it will open its own window here and you see that it is showing that selenium id is recording and now suppose we start same thing here we uh, click and then search for selector sub hit enter then scroll down then click on selector sub okay so it's opening now you see that what it has recorded here like it used to record pretty much uh, things like we do in programming language so open and then this what is the target because of course the target is url then set window size it, it is like we used to write the selenium script pretty much it is something like that it is generating the selenium script then we click then we click then we click while well, uh, okay it doesn't show us that where we have entered the value or something like that so here if we stop this let me just stop this and let's say we give the test case name google search okay so this is how it got saved and now if you want to execute this test case so you can run this test case as well so you see that run current test preparing open okay okay so i guess this has not recorded that entering the value but anyways so it used to record the steps which you can rerun them okay so this is selenium ide which it used to do now uh, okay let us close this close this and then this is selenium id so one two three steps are done but this haven't reached to the fourth one because i guess it has not recorded it it is still executing here so you can see that 
so pretty much it used to uh, execute uh, like work like as in selenium where it used to record these steps and then you can rerun them there might be a chance that it might fail in the next run because it's uh, ide or locator x pass selectors which it used to record here or css might get changed okay so this is one very first thing let me just exit this now go to the next one generate a screenshot with highlighted area so test case studio used to generate the screenshot where it will highlight the field as well while selenium id doesn't generate the screenshot let me just show you guys so here when you will perform any action like you uh, here we entered or something we do so it used to record capture the screenshot for each and every step with the highlighted field right while selenium ide if you open so first of all like every time it used to ask us <coughs> to select the project that is also a thing and okay let me for an example take an existing project which i have earlier created and uh, here if we record start recording a new test case so if you perform anything here it will not take the screenshot here so you can see that the screenshots are not there while uh, in test case studio there it has taken the screenshots as well in fact for like now we were recording in test case studio was open so you see that it has also captured the screenshot for that and it has recorded this step i will show you that why it has done that so a screenshot can be done a screen recording so now you in test case studio you can also record the screen like kind of video recording a screen recording while in selenium id that is not applicable so that doesn't have this feature so here if you see that in test case studio you have this record screen feature if you want to record any win, uh, like chrome tab or entire window or uh, like any particular window tab you want to record or entire screen you want to record that you select and now uh, screen recording will start happening so whatever we will be performing here we will be going here and there so everything will be recording in uh, that screen recording you can uh, like pause stop and then you can view here so that re screen recording also you can download this so this feature is there in test case studio while if we go here in uh, selenium ide so we don't have the screen recording feature in uh, selenium ide i hope like i'm not missing anything uh, you guys can please let me know uh, if i missed anything or missing anything while doing the comparison but pretty much i try to uh, make it fair and uh, capture each and everything bo for both the tools because both the tools has their own capabilities their own uh, features save test case can be referred any time to test the functionality or reproduce the bug so whatever steps you have recorded here that you can save download them and at any point of time you can refer them as uh, to reproduce the bug or the uh, documentation kind of like documentation that this is the testing you have done you have performed all these steps while doing the testing for this particular application and these were the screenshot like which has been captured and things were working if anything breaks ever in the production or if anybody asks for the proof of testing and a uh, similar thing like selenium ide which used to uh, capture everything uh, as an a script format which you can execute at any point of time it will work or may not work that's a different matter of fact because of locator change and everything but yes it gives you the uh, like kind of a script format and these details what it records in their own way so that is there so both used to have the things but uh, like in different kind of format one is like in uh, human language one is kind of like programming language record multiple website urls windows while records for one website at a time so here uh, like i was telling you guys that where it has also like we, we were recording for google.com but now we have open flipkart.com and test case studio window was open so it has also recorded flipkart while selling uh, so basically like if you are on uh, if you have open test case studio and you are on this website performing any action it will capture so if you wherever you go in your uh, browser it will record for each and every tab it will be able to record each and every tab while selenium ide doesn't do that uh, so that could be a feature as well that they just want wanted to make sure for the user that you are recording only on this website for this particular project you are working so that has a different perspective that has a different uh, use case which they are solving selenium ide is solving and the test case studio has a different uh, like 
purpose to uh, solve because that is like kind of recorded for the each and every user action while selenium id is for a particular project or application which you have open and you are recording so you see that anything which you will be performing here on flipkart.com uh, for which you have opened the project that it will be recording here you can see that selenium id is recording but if you will open anything like let's say you open here uh, mintra.com or google here it will not be recording like selenium ide will not be recording here but test case studio will be recording so you see that it will be recording just for flipkart.com whatever url you have selected <laughs> generate test cases in bdd format now test case studio has this feature that you can uh, like if whatever test cases you are recording here you go here and if you want to record in uh, BDD format, then in that case, you can change it to BDD. Come back here. Let's say we delete all these steps from here. And now if you will record any action here, so it will be kind of like giving you when and then kind of uh, steps. So that feature is there. Also, you can customize them like you can customize as per your testing, uh, like company standard as well. Those keywords in the form, the way you want to record. It generates the robust relative XPath and CSS selector with selectors of algorithm which can be used in automation script writing. So yes, another uh, thing is in uh, test case studio, it used to give you the XPath and CSS selector as well, which are being uh, generated with the help of like the same logic what selectors have used. So here you can see that pretty much robust XPath and CSS selector it used to generate which might not immediately or soon get changed while in uh, if we see the test uh, like css selector and id and locators are also being recorded here but uh, there are different kind of ways different kind of logic which are being used behind which used to generate uh, these xpath and these locators like target element which is kind of like selectors only so yes uh, you can find as per your requirement which one is more stable It is very helpful to reproduce the bugs with its recorded readable sentences. So yes, very much uh, like meaningful that whatever steps it used to record. So that can be used as a uh, like let us go back to the default format. So it used to record these steps pretty much like in very much readable sentences. Like one can read them and then can perform and reproduce debug any developer while selenium ide used to record these steps in pretty much kind of like a script format a programming or pseudo code kind of things you can say that which one can understand if they have like kind of programming language or uh, they want to use the script but hardly it can be used as a <coughs> as to reproduce the bug or as a documentation for the test cases or test step anyone can understand the download te downloaded test cases from the test case studio and no programming language is required because those are kind of like human languages while selenium ide used to have the programming language kind of thing test case studio is not a record and play tool so yes test case studio whatever you are recording you cannot play them again like it's not a record and play right while recorder plugin selenium ide whatever you are recording you will be able to re-execute them so if you are looking for a plugin where you can record these steps where you can record the script and you want to re-execute that then definitely selenium ide is the one which will solve your problem test case studio will not be able to solve your problem in this case where you want to record and re-execute these step okay while in uh, in test case studio we have this feature as well where we provide this step uh, feature that execute steps in english as code so if you have recorded these steps and you really want to execute them then yes there is a feature which we have added with the integration uh, <coughs> with uh, we have done the integration with test trigger so if you want to execute these steps you can click them uh, click on this button and it will take you to the test trigger website where you can execute your step so your steps will be executed with the help of test trigger which is um, another amazing plugin uh, uh, another amazing product automation tool end to end automation tool which will help you to execute these steps which you have recorded in test case studio to execute them again and at any point of time you want to execute those steps they will be get executed in test trigger 
and once you will be having the account on test trigger there your steps will always be uh, getting executed so there you can every time like whenever you want you can re-execute those steps and everything you will be able to do here and you can always find your test cases there so test case studio by default will not be able to execute your step but if you want you can execute test case studio provide the uh, uh, provide the feature where you can execute your recorded steps in test trigger again and again and whenever you want like you do with the selenium ide and i will highly recommend that you guys try this feature this will help you guys a lot and test trigger has an amazing feature out there like they have auto healing and ai uh, ai based solutions so which will help you to uh, execute your steps again and again your test cases and everything it has feature to generate the xpath and css selector with desired attribute as well like uh, if you see that here in test case studio it is recording xpath and css selector let's say it is recording with id and uh, like other uh, attribute but if you don't want to record with them we it has the feature that you can also record with a particular attribute like let's say you don't want to record with id you can uncheck this and it will not record with id while selenium id has its own logic to generate them but they don't provide the it doesn't provide the filter like attribute filter it doesn't have it here it has feature to generate the customized locator command so you can see that here uh, like it is it has the uh, it is generating the x path and css selector everything what you want to generate but let's say you want to uh, generate the pseudo code like driver command then here it has the drive set driver command feature you turn on and now it will be generating this kind of command driver dot find element you can also customize this command as per your framework so this feature is also there in test case studio while uh, selenium ide by default it generate their own way of code but yes you can also add lots of conditions and customize that code get the system info browser details screen resolution so yes this has a great feature that here it used to have uh, provide the os version like on which os you are testing browser version browser details resolution and timestamps as well which will which is very helpful at any point of time uh, to refer that on which browser on which os version you were testing on what was the resolution of the screen so it becomes very very easy for the uh, developer to uh, debug any bug or do the testing or uh, to reproduce the bug it helps us a lot that on what system what version we were doing the testing while uh, selenium ide doesn't uh, have this because uh, the <coughs> it might not required in that use case because they are just recording the uh, script and uh, re-executing that and uh, yes of course both of them like test case studio and selenium id both are the free tool and absolutely available for everyone out there anybody can install them from the chrome store and use them or any browser store wherever they are available and uh, at last again i would like to add this point that all plugins are good and created to solve different kinds of problem all plugins helping community a lot to solve their problems and saving time one and everybody can choose as per their requirement as per their uh, need to solve their problem i hope this tutorial you find useful and uh, this may help you to give the uh, like a fair idea that which tool has what kind of features why you should use the test case studio why you should the selenium ide and uh, they have their own features their own uh, uh, identity and they are very very helpful in their own way with that thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you